Todd Bowles, the new HC of the NYJ, uh, from his introductory press conference earlier this week. And he now joins me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Coach, thanks for calling in. Oh, no problem, Rich. How you doing? I'm fine. We grew up ac uh, across the Gothels Bridge from each other, it yes, appears. Yes, we did. I'm from The Rock. You're from Elizabeth. How are you? Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm, it's, I'm practically New Jersey, Todd, you know? Uh, you Practically, you're close. Now, is it true that uh, the current general manager with, which, uh, with whom you're working uh, used to scout you in a way when you were playing high school football for Elizabeth? Is that true, Todd? No, he used to run around the yard. We used to have camp up close to where he lived at. He was about eight years old then. I was a little older than him. Okay. And so he used to run around at camp while we practiced, but he didn't scout me there, no. Okay, so he was just running around practice as an eight-year-old. And now he, he, now you guys are working together trying to get the Jets uh, back to prominence. That's It's amazing how things work out in life, don't you think, Coach? Yeah, it's a lot of karma there. We ran into each other in Washington, and we kind of ran around each other growing up. So it's, it, it's pretty good coming back together. Yeah, so what is it like for you to be uh, a coach in, in, in your home state? Coach? You know, it, it's a homecoming. It's, it's, a, it's a dream come true. I never did I dream I'd come back here to be a head coach or even picture that as far as my life would go. So coming back here and also the first place where I started my pro career, it, it, it's a blessing. I'm with uh, Todd Bowles, head coach of the New York Jets. Um, so what is your first order of business now that you're taking over a team that we all know, as you pointed out in your press conference, didn't win? There's a reason why you were there. What is your first order of business? Well, just to get the coaches in the building and make sure you get your coaches on the contract so we can get going, start looking at film and evaluate what we have. Okay. And, and I, well, clearly we know what your defensive philosophy is. You, you probably have more people around you uh, right now because you, you like bringing more than just one person when you're in a conversation, I'm sure, Todd. So <laughs> we, we understand what your philosophy is. What is your offensive philosophy going to be with the Jets? You know, you, you want to be well balanced. Obviously, we've we got to be able to run the football, but we want to throw the ball down the field and make some explosive plays as well. We want to kind of be well balanced and have a complimentary offense to fit our defense so we can play complimentary football. Now, when you call Geno Smith a good college quarterback uh, or a great college quarterback, you know, people took that to mean that that is how you assess him uh, as a professional. And uh, clearly one of the reasons why you are also there is because he didn't perform nearly as well as the Jets hoped him to perform. So where do you stand on Geno Smith currently right now, coach? You know, for, first of all, when I say he's a good college quarterback, I just meant really that's the last time I saw him actually play, you know. And being in the NFC West, you didn't see the AFC East much during the year other than a few highlights here and there. So I was going by what I remembered him as at West Virginia. You know, I'm sure he's grown and gotten to be a pretty good pro quarterback. Assessing him, we're going to have to sit down and look at some film, just like we're going to do the rest of the team, and we're going to make a conclusion and then meet with him. And you got to see him live after that going forward as to what he can and can't do. So, and then, But people assume with him there, and Chan Gailey likes to run the spread, that that's the type of offense you're going to have with the Jets. Is that a, a safe assumption, or we're we making a leap here? No, that's not a safe assumption at all. You know, Chan, Chan worked with a bunch of different guys, and he's ran a bunch of different offenses, and he can kind of fit what the players do and work himself into that way. So we're just going to try to see what we have and fit into what they do and come out and make the best available assumption we can make going forward as far as us, what kind of offensive team we're going to be. I'm with uh, Todd Bowles, new head coach of the New York Jets, uh, long t uh, defensive coordinator of the Arizona Cardinals the past couple of years. Uh, have you ever had a player intercept a football and then hand it to you or one of your uh, a head coach and say, this ball doesn't feel properly inflated? Uh, ha has, that, has that ever happened? Because that is apparently what happened in the AFC Championship game. Coach. No, that's never happened to me. So then, uh, do you, let's put it this way, have you gone into games suspecting other teams of doing stuff like that? No, I haven't. Okay. So, what, what and, and as a defensive coach going against an offense, now I know that you're saying we're going to stop no matter who's doing it, no matter, no matter who's on the other side of the ball, we're going to scheme, we're going to do this, but is there in your mind as a defensive coach an advantage for an offensive team playing with an under-inflated football? 
I don't know. I can't say for sure. You know, the rules in place for a reason, I guess. But I, I've never experienced it, so I couldn't answer that question. So um, what are we making a big deal of, then, in your estimation? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. Because we're talking, I mean, we're, this is this is something that we're, like, the Republic is about to fall apart. Because you know, of something it's like something this. the league has in place, so I guess they'll handle it. But, you know, they're a damn good football team, and they, they earned their right there. Well, the, twi the two times you're going to face them, though, I mean, are you going to, are you going to, prior to the game, come out there with an air gauge, coach? You know, next No, next not fall? me. They have people in place to do that. Oh. You know, they take the balls before the game and do everything else. So all you can do is go by what the rules do. Well, I have a couple of guys here that I'd be willing to part with for just a day uh, on a Sunday. <laughs> that would, uh, my sound guy, Mike Del Tufo, is a Jersey guy. He knows the area. He might be, just bring his air gauge if you need the air guy. <laughs> Taking on the Patriots, coach. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. i just, you know, throwing that out there for you. But, listen, uh, thanks for calling in. I appreciate you uh, giving us some time. And no uh, from, from one exit 13 guy to another, congratulations. All right. Appreciate it, Rich. You bet. That's Todd Bowles, head coach of the New York Jets. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.